So this actually is our area is basically used to be a village. You can see he is a Kolak village. So then, then it expand to become a really really big area. People uh, here uh, used to keep the dogs, a lot of dogs here. So you can see here welcome to welcome to the Kulak village you can see here so this used to be a village I think 30 40 years ago it used to be a village but now it's become like a city there's a banks are here there are a lot of shops are here these are all around uh, to my house and my house is from here almost uh, five minutes away my walk so you can see the bank is the bank of Ireland and this was pub people used to gather here and now it's closed now they cannot open this one and most of the shops are also closed down you can see here yeah, it's nothing empty I used to come from this road and I can I saw a lot of people used to stand here drink here and blah 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 and now it's completely closed down this will be open I think in September not before so this road is going straight away to my house and it's from here about for five minutes only not much and uh, a lot of people are doing doing cycling today because of the weather and uh, here is a big church also uh, it's very old church you can see here across the road so this is the church it is also really old I think when was village so they built this church as well <coughs> ST Brendan's parish house so this is the church and this is the front side of the church and people are coming here so they just go inside park the cars and it's all church area so this is another bank here Ulster bank but it's also closed today is actually is bank holiday as well here was used to be a gym is also close and this guy is cleaning the cross so this is all today So this is actually the Cadbury factory uh, just uh, 10 minutes away from my house you can see the Cadbury is a chocolate factory uh, chocolates are very famous of this factory actually I used to work inside this factory for almost uh, one year I work in this factory it's really really big factory and and uh, 
they make uh, really nice chocolates I'll show you the view from here we cannot go inside because security reason they don't allow only they allow to stop they can go inside so this is the main gate so this is all about the Cadbury uh, guys how are you uh, today I am going outside just for a visit and uh, things are a little bit changing now we can see a lot of cars and uh, here is a shop and you can see a lot of people are gathering there I think they want to buy something I don't know. Uh, today actually here is a bank holiday as well so people are just coming outside and have a chill they are eating the food uh, buying the takeaway because here are few shops takeaway shops so this is what we have to cross the road because This is uh, near to my house. It's the main road. Its name is Malahai Road. And this is the traffic is going on here. People are talking about the lockdown. When this will be finished? When they will start their normal life? There's a lot of talking going on. Nobody know exactly uh, when this will be our. But uh, this is here the Dublin bus. It's the only bus service that is available. So. Lockdown will be will take months to finish. But let's see when this will be finished. We have to know that the longer it will take, uh, it will bring more problems for the people. But house is is the key uh, for the government if they want to save the people lives first then they will fix the economy so the government basically now announced uh, three stages how they will uh, finish this lockdown Some of the offices will also start working and in the second stage uh, the government before and the sec go, go in the second stage the, uh, the government will analyze uh, the situation again and if they 
meet the target then they will uh, uh, ease the restrictions on some other part of the economy uh, you can say the hotels and restaurants will be opened with the uh, with precautions I mean staff have to have the gloves and mask and sanitizer and uh, they have to maintain the uh, one meter two meter difference between all the the customer and uh, if they met, meet the meets the requirement then they can uh, open their restaurants but there is another problem I saw on television some of the businesses people are talking about that especially in the city center uh, about coffee shops and uh, other small hotels very small they have the space about 10 to 15 uh, seats so how gonna they will uh, meet the requirements of 2 meter to 1 meter difference if they if they uh, try to uh, fulfill the requirement then only two people can sit in a one shop at one time so how gonna they make the business if their normal capacity was 15 people but now they, they uh, according to new regulation the only three people can sit at one time so how gonna they manage this one so this is another uh, big problem for the businesses people so the big hotels for the big hotel is uh, who have the biggest space for them it can be easy to implement the new regulation but it is really really difficult for the uh, small coffee shops small hotels who have used to used to have 10 to 15 uh, seats for them is not easy to uh, for them is not easy to manage so it's really difficult for them it's really difficult for them to manage the uh, this situation uh, this is the one problem another problem about the employees as well I mean if the businesses have less sale how gonna they have the uh, uh, if the business have less sale of course they will they will not able to pay uh, to their employees so the employees will get definitely get very less hours and if they have less hours how gonna they meet how how gonna they meet their expenses so is a really a tricky will be a really tricky situation uh, okay so this was the, uh, the second stage about hotels and third stage will be the the uh, in august or september and that will be opening everything i mean all the games uh, the football stadiums and rugby stadiums they will open and they also uh, will open the uh, pubs and other hotels and other gathering but will be definitely will be uh, there will be a numbers 10 uh, 5,000 to 10,000 members can have gathering together like in a football match in one day can we have 100,000 people but they want to curtail that limit uh, up to uh, 5,000 so uh, this uh, 
this is the plan actually the government have this is the plan and uh, we'll see how this plan will work or not if we talk about other European countries a country like uh, Italy and Spain and France and England uh, they are what's uh, affected by this coronavirus uh, every country almost have 30,000 people dead and 100,000 plus affected so we will uh, these countries were uh, uh, most of the countries they are dependent on uh, uh, international tourism so if tourists are coming their businesses are working so they also have to figure out how to manage uh, their tourism industry when they will be open and I think they are also going to make some planning uh, about this situation when they will open uh, their businesses but I presume they will also uh, going to open their businesses in stage wise like first day second and third and they will also definitely will start in um, uh, up to end of June or July and then we'll see how the things will go so all country actually facing the similar situation so we don't know exactly what will be happen next I'm just walking around here to see how the things are, are happening. Uh, around the clock. Most of the people actually are outside the homes and try to Enjoy a bit. Which signal is going to open? Don't know. This road actually, his name is Malahide Road. I told you this road is straight. If we go straight up, and we will reach to the uh, seaside. This road goes straight up to the seaside. It seems the people are not uh, really uh, care about the coronavirus. Most of the people are outside, you can see, and cars are uh, coming and going. Uh, so, it's not like lockdown. Uh, it is, uh, according to the governor, it is a lockdown, but if you see in the road, it's not a lockdown. Cars are coming continuously and going continuously. So, this is a uh, situation. Yeah, I mean, I came actually after almost a month and a half. I came outside uh, to the, just for a walk and uh, to see uh, what's going on. Here we can see the Burger King. Is some some of the shops are here. The so Burger King is basically is working, but is working only drive drive through. Oh, you can see all the seats are in one place so it's closed down everything and uh, is only working uh, drive through I mean they give the order on the uh, on the side in the window and and then they get their food and they just drive away it's not like they can go inside and sit and have a sit and eat I think this practice will be continue uh, in a few months until this all uh, lockdown situation will finish and today actually is a really really 
nice weather uh, in Ireland most of the time is uh, rain and a windy situation but uh, since this lockdown started is uh, sunshine is really really good uh, maybe the reason that uh, nobody can go anywhere so people are doing cycling other stuff so basically this was all from today so I just show you the situation outside the outside the house and uh, hope you will like this and uh, share it with other people thank you so this was uh, my video about uh, uh, walk outside and talk about the current uh, uh, situation this is what was today topic and have to walk outside just to give the little energy to yourself it's really important for the health because I was sitting at home and just not going outside it's not make sense make you bad actually and also the health uh, really bad effect on the health so it's really important for us to walk outside so all I want to say I hope you enjoy it is longer video actually uh, but it's full of information in it but need to watch from start to end and uh, I will hope to see you again in a I now I am planning to make only the bigger size videos because I need the time as well. I have to have uh, four thousand hours, so for that you need at least ten big videos straight away. So if you like please share with your friends and do comments as well. See you bye bye.